In this presentation, we will consider one special problem related to binary to decimal conversion. So let's get started. Let's consider some basics before diving into the code. Here suppose we have a number 1001 which is a binary number of course and we need to convert this number to a decimal number. We know that if we want to convert a binary number to a decimal number then each bit of number should be multiplied by its corresponding weight and then it should be added together to obtain the decimal number, right? Here as we know weight of this particular bit is 2 raised to power 0, weight of this bit is 2 raised to power 1, weight of this bit is 2 raised to power 2 and weight of this bit is 2 raised to power 3, right? Now the next step is to multiply each bit by its corresponding weight. That is, we simply multiply 2 raised to power 3 by 1, 2 raised to power 2 by 0, 2 raised to power 1 by 0 and 2 raised to power 0 by 1. And then we add them together. As 0 multiplied with anything is 0 only, therefore the final result that we get is 8 into 1 plus 1 into 1. Because 2 raised to power 3 is 8 and 2 raised to power 0 is 1, that is why we are obtaining this result. 8 into 1 is 8 and 1 into 1 is 1 and if we add them, it results 9, which is the decimal equivalent of this binary number, right? After understanding these basics, now let's dive into the code. Suppose user wants to convert this binary number to a decimal number. We already know that decimal equivalent of this binary number is 9, but we need to write a code for it. We first ask the user to enter the binary number. Whatever the input provided by the user will get stored inside this variable named binary. Apart from that, we need two more variables, decimal and weight. Initially, the value of decimal is 0 and the value of weight is 1. Next, we require a while loop which runs only when binary is not equals to 0. That means this number should not be equals to 0. Now, of course, we need a logic in which we can multiply each bit by its weight and then add them together, right? We try to extract last bit from this number and multiply by its corresponding weight. If we want to do this, we need to divide this number by 10 and we need to get the remainder instead of the quotient. We know that if we divide any number by 10, then the remainder that we get is always the last digit of that number. Therefore, it is easy to get the last digit of this number. So what we need to do? We simply divide binary by 10 and store the remainder inside the rem variable. Mod operator is used to obtain the remainder. That means now rem will contain value 1, which is the last digit of this number, right? Now the next step is to simply multiply rem by weight. We know the weight of this particular bit is 1, right? Therefore, we simply multiply rem by its weight, which is 1 into 1, which gives us 1. Decimal initially contains value 0. Therefore, 0 plus 1 is 1 only. So, 1 will get stored inside this variable called decimal. That means decimal is equal to 1. Now, obviously, next time we need to get this particular bit. In order to get this bit, we need to truncate this bit out of this number. In order to truncate this bit out of this number, we simply divide this number by 10 and store the quotient instead of remainder inside some variable. For this, we need to perform this step. That is, we simply divide this number by 10 and store the quotient inside this binary variable only, which gives us 100 in this case. Right? Now the next step is easy. We simply multiply weight by 2 so that when we extract this digit out, we can multiply it with its corresponding weight that is 2. Initially the value of weight is 1. If we multiply 1 by 2, it gives us 2. That is what we are obtaining, right? We continue to loop around until we get binary equals to 0. Now we divide this number by 10 which gives us the remainder 0 which is the last bit of this particular number and this will get stored inside this rem variable. Now as rem contains 0, we multiply it with weight which is equals to 2. 0 into 2 is 0 and 0 if added with 1 gives us 1 which will get stored inside this decimal variable. Next we divide this number by 10 
and store the quotient inside the binary variable, which is 1 0. As when 1 0 0 is divided by 10, it gives us 1 0 as the quotient. Now the next step is to multiply weight by 2. Weight contains 2 and 2 into 2 is equals to 4, which will get stored inside this weight variable. Right? In the next iteration again, we divide this number, which is 1 0 by 10 and store the remainder, which is equals to 0 inside the rem variable. 0 into weight will be 0 again. Right? And 0 plus 1 is 1, which will get stored inside the decimal variable. Now, if we divide 1 0 by 10, it will give us 1 as the quotient. Therefore, 1 will get stored inside this variable. Now, weight, which is containing 4 as its value, will get multiplied by 2, which gives us 8, and it will get stored inside this weight variable. And similarly, in the next iteration, 1 will get divided by 10, which gives us 1 as the remainder. Now, 1 will get multiplied by 8, which gives us 8, and 8 plus 1 is equals to 9. Now, this time, decimal variable will contain value 9. If we divide 1 by 10, the quotient will be 0 and it will get stored inside this binary variable. And weight, which is containing value 8, will get multiplied by 2, which gives us 16 and it will get stored inside this variable weight. Now, as we know, binary contains value 0. Therefore, 0 is not equals to 0 is false and we come outside of this while loop. Right? And then we simply print the value of decimal on the screen, which is equals to 9, which is the decimal equivalent of 1001. Okay? Let's execute this code. Suppose we enter the binary number 1001. Decimal equivalent of the binary number 1001 is 9, which is correct. Right? Let's execute this code once again. This time, suppose we enter 10011011. Decimal equivalent of the binary number 10011011 is 307. Okay, friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation.